Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to play with hot foiling and I'm using the latest kit by Spellbinders. This is their foiling kit and uh, this month it comes with this rainbow foil roll and it comes with lots of uh, foiling plates as well as dies. So the first one is a foiling plate and it's going to give you all those lines. You can foil it and color it in between with your favorite coloring mediums. This one is a die. And there are these little uh, arches that fit inside that die. It also includes a cloud die as well as three sentiments which are really generic. So you get over the rainbow for you, have a colorful day and follow your rainbow. I used the dies to cut out the rainbow outline, a couple of clouds and four colors for my rainbow. I went with pale colors but of course you can go as vibrant as you like. I'm going to decorate all these pieces with their matching foiling plates. So now I'm going to use some washi tape and secure all those three pieces together, the paper, the foil and uh, the foiling plate just to make sure that they are not going to move on me when I place them on the docking station. So I am using uh, one of my favorite foiling rolls which is speckled prism. I am repeating the same process, securing all the pieces together with washi tape and then I'm going to place them on top of my platform. I have already pressed that little button so you can see that the light is flashing. Once this stops flashing it means that the plates are nice and warm. While I'm waiting I'm going to create my sandwich and now the light has stopped flashing. I'm going to remove the sandwich from the docking station and I'm going to run it very slowly through my die cutting machine, allowing the pressure on top of the foil. Now I am going to remove everything and for that it's very handy to use this silicone mat as well as these tweezers. They have a magnet on top so you can easily remove them without burning your fingers. Although to tell you the truth it's not that warm but it's nice to be safe. These uh, accessories do come along with your machine. So I'm going to very slowly remove them from the washi tape making sure that I don't make a mess. And here is the waterfall result. Now all these pieces fit inside the outline but I don't want to assemble that directly on top of my card base because I want it to be a little bit raised. You know I love dimension. That's why I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper. I'm covering it up with double sided tape. I'm going to peel it off and then I'm going to assemble everything there. The rainbow is really easy to assemble once you stick the outline down then you can just add the inside pieces, they are just going to fall inside and fit like a puzzle. And remember, you can uh, really customize this rainbow, there are only four colors here. You can use different hues of the same color for a monochromatic ombre effect, you can even go with super bright colors, you can even use pattern paper or cut it out from white cardstock and color it in with your favorite mediums. Now my rainbow is ready, I'm going to use my non-stick scissors and I'm going to uh, cut it out. And it's time to work on the background. For that I'm working on a panel that's smaller than the standard card and I'm going to create an ombre look of uh, shades of blue. So I am starting with uh, tumbled glass and then I'm going to add peacock feathers. This is one of my favorite color combinations when it comes to skies. I am applying everything with my big blending brush by Altenew just because I find that it covers up uh, really easy big areas plus it makes blending super easy. I am adding two small pieces of double sided tape at the very bottom of my rainbow and then I'm going to peel it off and stick the clouds on top. I am sticking the clouds at the bottom so I will have a straight line but you can stick them unevenly for a completely different look. I have this snow foiling plate that comes from the Winter Village set and I am going to use only this one to have little dots falling from the clouds. Again I'm going to use the same foil roll and uh, I am uh, keeping that rainbow temporarily in place so that I know exactly where I need to foil the dots. Again I'm going to use some washi tape to secure down the plate on top of my background and I'm going to place in between my foil. Again I'm going to use the same foil that I used previously 
and I will repeat the same process for both of the clouds. Hopefully you can see all the sparkle that I have on my background and on the rainbow. At the back I have foam squares and I'm going to pop it on top, making sure that I align the clouds with the falling dots. Now my dots are silver, but if you use the um, rainbow roll that was included in the kit, then you will have all those dots colorful. I, I have already foiled one of the sentiments. And as a finishing touch, I do have those uh, silver stars. These are tiny little confetti stars by Nuvo. I'm going to add dots of glue here and there, falling from the rainbow. And then I'm going to stick them down. And you can see how handy that uh, embellishment wand is for picking all those little pieces. Finally, I have a white pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to glue on top my panel. Notice that the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card, so it leaves a white border. Just like always, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you will all have a lovely week.